Is Evolve Portal back? Well, uh, not really. But if you're looking for something off meta that can surprise both you and your opponent, look no further. Now, if you didn't know, the idea is to get 10 Evolve so that Shin can do this massive super burst, destroys three random enemy followers, deals six damage to the enemy leader, restores six defense to your leader, and subtracts three from the cost of all cards in your hand. Rap God. And then you also have Inez here, who can help you pull your robotic arm rescuer, one of the main cards in the deck that helps you turbo your Evolve count because of that fusion effect that gives you assembly droids that evolves. The new card, Twofold Grace gives you infinite value and also helps you recover evil points if you need it. And Mia Winged Puppet gives you healing as well as a free evolve. After you play your Shin, you reduce the cards in your hand, specifically Alice, which is the most important target, so you have more damage to the face, as well as Synthetic Eden, the best Portal Crafts card, which can help you out no matter what. Also to play this deck, I brought in the help of my fellow content creator, Hutch Patanko, a Portal Craft main. So let's get into the games, but first make sure to like the video and subscribe. It really, really does help out. Okay, what's my Mulligan Tanko? T teach me. Do I keep Inez uh, for keep uh, Inez. Mr. Man? Yeah, Enos going, uh, going first is amazing. Um, and I don't know what else. <laughs> <laughs> this is not... Can I, I get my money back from this Metafy session? <laughs> like, the, the deck is so... This deck is so whatever. I have no faith in this deck. Wait, I think I'm fighting against Ghost. My fighting against... That, oh. What does Ghost even do, actually? Okay, so there's Gaba Ghoul Wielder. Look at him up real quick. Baba Booey. Uh, oh, did they play the mansion? Yeah. Is that why you think it's... Okay, it's it's probably not Ghost. Uh, uh, wait, when you play it's a non-Ghost? Oh, wait, in Shadows. Oh, for Shadows. Okay, that makes sense. You play it in Shadows for Shadows, and people even play it in um, Helio, uh, where they only want to res Adjudicator. Uh, and it raises their... Yeah, so... Dude, I have no. Dude, this deck sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, it's super cheeks. Like you can just play. You, in the early game, you try to play puppet cards to make puppets for Fusion Father, and then you can use Antonita to copy Robotic Engineer, uh, the Rescuer from. War yeah, I, I know that combo, but, but like, like, what do I do? Turn two, turn three, like, and then turn what? four. Yeah, that's, <laughs> then what? Yeah, that's what I'm saying, bro. Yeah, so some shadows use the mansion outside of ghosts. Just uh, yeah. Uh. Well, I guess I can play Dreamer Puppet here, it's fine. Oh, this is Magachio. <laughs> Good luck, bro. Fuck. Bro, you're playing a turn 9 deck against a turn 6 deck, bro. <laughs> Dude, this is Magachio. I have to kill because I don't want to get... I want. I don't want to get chips. Because otherwise that makes it easier for them. They don't need all three uh, Wardens, right? Yeah. Uh... Let me just double check for you, because I don't really know what the mansion does, but I know that some people play it in non-ghost decks. It, uh, whenever a guy is banished, get a shadow and you get a ghost added to hand at the end of the turn. Weird. He played two matches. He's, he's super building up shadows now. Weird, dude. Yeah, I just saw somebody, uh, on Twitter play it and yeah, here it is. Thank you. This might be what they're playing. It's on Shadowverse win, so they probably just copied it. <laughs> this they... guy just left Evo Babs up. Can I just? <laughs> they play it in Hearts Radiance, basically, for uh, Shadow Generation. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, uh -huh. I mean, I have Michelle to kill, to kill the Dread Knight and they use the Void Knight. Michelle is so funny, dude. It's just like Michelle is so funny. I didn't. I, I forgot that they just lose the buffs entirely. I didn't know that until today. <laughs> oh, not today, but until uh, until I pl started playing the deck. Like, until they started playing, uh, I started playing Michelle, I had no idea that was even the case. I think the reason yeah. why I found out is that somebody did it against me, and I was like, what? You, that what? happens? Yeah. I had, like, a super buffed up guy from uh, Castell, and then they, they nerfed it with the Michelle, and it didn't get it didn't come back. Mm. <laughs> it was tragic stuff. Since when did MAGA play three Wardens instead of two? Okay, so the reason why they play three Wardens instead of two, I got confused by that originally too, but then I, I recently found out, well, not recently, I, I found out in the previous meta, it's because of uh, damage reduction cards like um, Lily, and uh, uh, before there was also, what's her name? Uh, I actually thought three Warden was normal. What's it? What's it, it, it helps you get super duper OTK. Astro. Like super duper Before OTK. there was astrological sorcerer as well, so uh, you needed three wardens to get through the damage reduction from Astro and from uh, and now from Lily. Uh, 
th three wardens was normal at the very start, Tonko, and then they cut it down to two wardens when nobody was playing uh, okay. Lily or Astro. And then when Earthrite became good again and they started playing Astro, people went back up to three wardens. That makes sense, yeah. Warden has always been three? No, for a long time before the Earthrite buff, before uh, Earthrite became good again, when they just randomly buffed it for no reason, and it still baffles me to this day. <laughs> uh, before the Earthrite buff, people were playing two Wardens, uh, one Maga Chiyo, three Inishian. Wow, no way, he got Helio, he summoned Helio on turn six, and we animated. <laughs> Misguided Maiden. It went back up because of Astro and now because of Lily. As soon as Lily gets stops being played or rotates out or whatever, we're, we're, uh, Magachi will go back down to two. Since when was it two? Dude, are you... Do you play the same game I play? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, I didn't know it was two either. Yeah, that's fair enough. Only the Council of Forest Craft Andes. <laughs> who decide what the rotations are or the, what the ratios are. And I have the their, two I have, forest craft mains. On I have the them on planet. speed dial. I have them on speed dial. The they're on my they're on my phone right then and there. I call the I call the forest craft council. So is Isn't Magachi rotating next set? Yes. Which is why you're probably gonna see three until it's over. <laughs> Tanko, this deck is so bad. <laughs> It's so bad. It feels so bad. What do I do? Oh, you can get a third engineer. I mean, and then, and then, it's and then like, what? <laughs> and then what? And you have the engineers eat each other. <laughs> Cannibalism. <laughs> I guess I just play Oscar Shiri. Well, I'm telling you, man, the deck is super duper cheeks. Even I can't salvage that deck. <laughs> I tried. I really did. Tanko, I have a feeling this deck is actually dog piss. <laughs> it's pretty dog piss, yeah. <laughs> uh, alternatively, you could use Anti to copy Shin as well, because the deck does literally nothing if you don't get double Shin. But like, even when you do get double Shin, they heal back and <laughs> oh, you just die the next turn anyway. I don't mean to be a downer <laughs> for on your stream, but like, I've seen some shit, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's traumatized. I know what it's like. <laughs> Could have copied shit instead? Oh, you're right. Yeah, that's what Tonko just said. Stop stealing Tonko's ideas. No. <laughs> He's Mr. I Portal. Mean, I mean, to be fair, Mr. Portal always copies more fusion because, hey, hey, more fusion means more evil. Ha <laughs> ha. Really that's, that's what I was thinking. We got the same brainwave. <laughs> evil Portal feels bad in it. I, I feel bad. I feel physically ill playing this right now. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. Yeah, that happened. That's normal. <laughs> Yo, I died on my <laughs> I just died next turn. And what do I do against that? Uh. I got Mikael though. Isn't that is that good? Uh. <laughs> you know what? I'm getting rid of Eden. I have no respect for Eden. My shin is at. It's not even at. It's not even close. <laughs> How could this happen to me? Wow, this ghost for night deck is really bad. I'm. I'm winning through like normal damage against him as a control deck he's at seven hp right now my shin is only at nine and i don't have it so i'm sad L including himself no oh yeah i see, I see. not including himself well oh. i just die now <laughs> yeah maga chiyo is more popular now because uh, it won jcg so I'm probably gonna see a lot more Maga Chiyo than I would like uh, in next. Oh, I, uh, I even played Maga Chiyo last night for Grand Prix and qualified. It's good. I think he has it. Uh, I, I, you don't know. Just hold up. Let him cook. Let him cook. Oh, let him, let him it's, looking like, it's looking like he has it. <laughs> I think he has it. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to think so too. Oh no. 
Bro, oh, he only plays two Ordens. Oh, I may just didn't need the last one. Yeah, maybe. I think this deck is um not gonna be a video. <laughs> <laughs> Artifact does have potential, but it is still pretty rough, even if you do have the muscle memory. I did win most. It's I think I won like 55, 60% of my games. <laughs> and the games I did lose, I think most of them were my fault though. So it is just like a pilot issue, so. Yeah. It's okay, it was just a bad matchup. Bro, name one good matchup for Evo Portal. <laughs> <I'll wait. laughs> uh, dude, yeah, like Portal literally is the only class that's not represented in tournaments right now. Even Blood is top four in the last thing. So It's it's fine, we'll have our time in Shadowverse too. Yeah, you're the protagonist in Shadowverse too, so they have to balance it now by making... Yeah, they, that means we have to be good then, right? <laughs> I don't know, Tanko. In the reveal trailer, they gave you a guy that just summons another guy, and it's a 4-3, so... Let's... <laughs> but it, it's, it's, set one, it's, it's set one meta, though. It's fine. It's, it's, that's, a stat, that's a standard power level for the... For value yeah, game. It's, it's, a, it's a stat stick, so it's good. Yeah, the stats matter again in the, in the base game again, right? You would hope so. <laughs> Also, dude, this Fortnite deck was so cheeks that I just won with hard cast Oberon. Yeah, that can happen. Also, I think that guy just copied it from Shadowverse Wins because it's on there. So that's probably yeah. what happened there. I mean, I do that too. <laughs> that's what I do every day. That's my job. My job is literally stealing like decks from... Content. I just take decks from other people who post them on Twitter and then I make a video about it. And then that's that's my job. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's more like it's my side gig. My actual main income is casting, which is funny. <laughs> uh, it's like I, I I take decks, call it trash, and then <laughs> call it a day. <laughs> They'll give Portal good draws in SV2. No longer will Dragon get the good top decks. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Watch, we're gonna get good draws, but we're going back to OG Artifact again, so you're just gonna top deck, like, primal, hey, uh, prime artifacts. To be fair to me, I don't always just go to Shadowverse Wins, dude. I freaking went to a Chinese web forum to get Chinese control and bring it to the light, so... Yeah, what, what <laughs> yeah, is that yeah, site yeah. you use? Like, you, you went to the dark web for that. You gotta give me some credit. <laughs> and also sometimes I make decks, so <laughs> I do it all. The only thing I don't do is play Take Two. Bro, have you ever actually watched a, a, a Chinese like uh, online tournament, like a, a huge event? Dude, their production is so good. Their so. production is really good, but like the at least uh, the, the one tournament that I was watching, it was really confusing because for some reason the players, uh, the Chinese players that I watched, they don't hesitate, they just play cards. As in, <laughs> the moment that the turn begins, they just throw cards down. They don't even stop to think or think ahead for the future turns. They just, it's like a race. It's been a while since I watched the Chinese tournament from front to back, but last time I saw it, they made quite a few mistakes because they were playing way too fast. It's like, calm yeah, down. Yeah, exactly. You, you, Relax. It's like, you, you, think, <laughs> it's like you, you think that if they were playing like that, you, you think that they would they play so fast because they know all the lines already, right? No, I saw so many misplays. It was so funny. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like they, it's like they're playing on autopilot. It's good to know that they, that's still the case because like a few years back when I saw the Chinese tournament and I'm like, you, you guys know you have a minute and 30 seconds per turn, right? Yeah. Just, just slow down, all right? Think it through, all right? It's fine. It's like you guys are playing card games, not Fortnite. It's <laughs> Yeah, you're not trying to build a hotel down. while trying to snipe your opponent. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think I solved the neutral axis problem in Control Forest. Instead, you should play Cold Hearted Dark Elf. Cold, cold hearted. Is that the basic card? No, it's new. Rivenbrandt. Discard a card from your hand, draw a card, deal one damage to a random enemy follower, and then the enemy leader. Enhance seven, deal five damage instead. Ooh, that enhance mention! That enhance might screw me up though, dude. Like post uh, uh, Iris. Oh, yeah, it's because you, all you guys are cheap. Oh, maybe it's good. You know what? Travis? I'm doing it. I'm replacing Gaia with Cold Hearted Dark Elf now. I'm doing it I just mean, for you. If you have if you have zero cost Oberon at that point. No. 
this is your best live stream yet. I appreciate that, but it's just because Tonko is here. You like the dynamic of two people talking to each other, I think. <laughs> this, is, this is basically an impromptu collab, pretty much. It's a podcast. I think my best live stream yet is actually the one where I streamed for 24 hours straight and almost died. <laughs> oh yeah, that was golden, yeah. I think that one was pretty awesome. It was like almost scary how you maintain energy throughout the entire thing yeah. even when you were about to die chat over a cast you know i did have a podcast before but caitlin doesn't know how to edit podcasts and i don't have the time to edit podcasts so <laughs> yeah that's the thing it's like when people think that like oh make a podcast you, oh you just got you just gotta talk yeah but no there's so much editing that ha that's the, involved in podcasts. the editing is so fucking annoying it's i really hate annoying. doing it tanko if i bring back evolve point do you want to host with me and kaylin and then you i can hire you to do the editing <laughs> but then i'd have to do editing yeah and then you have to <laughs> that's do the problem. <laughs> that's, that's the dilemma there what if we take turns <laughs> he doesn't want to do it. You see, it's so annoying that he doesn't want to do mm, it. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> also, like, I'm pretty sure the entire reason why I wasn't in Evolve Point uh, the first time was because I just didn't have the time. Yeah. Or at least the uh, time zone would have been too inconvenient. It's just that also because I was just trying it out. I didn't want to commit to it. Like, getting yeah. Kalen to do it, bro, he doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I love Kalen. He's a nice guy. But you know what I mean, right? Where he, like, he seems more free than... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He's playing, like, 20,000 hours of Minecraft. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, you're probably free. <laughs> uh... So I was just trying it out. And then in the end, it was good that I didn't rope you into it because we didn't, we weren't able to commit. But if I do get you into it, we can take turns editing and then we can do it. How do what, you know? Eh? Uh, eh? That <laughs> worries me. <laughs> it's so annoying that he doesn't want to do it. <laughs> this sucks. You see how hard it is to get people to, to help you out? Dude, there's like, there's like so much stuff that Igni wants me to do, but I'm just like, oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Yeah, I still have to hire you to make merch. Because <laughs> you're an actual Honestly, graphic like, designer. I, I actually forgot about that. <laughs> this fucking guy. And this I still have, guy. I still have three shorts that I paid you for that I have to work on. But that's my fault. I didn't write the scripts yet. <laughs> Eventually. You just had all the fun. It's fine. Yeah, I have a lot going on. And I'm moving house. Yeah. <laughs> If you do feel like you can edit one podcast episode every two weeks, then we can we can make Evolve Point back. We can bring it back. But if it's only me doing it every week, bro, hell no, bro. So, like, I don't know if I've ever actually, like, talked about this directly, but, uh -huh. um... So, in school, I studied graphic design and everything, right? Uh-huh. And uh, when I graduated, I did freelance work, uh -huh. and I got fired from everywhere, because I could never make deadlines. Dude! <laughs> so that's, that's why. That's why I'm always so hesitant to take up uh, any uh, freelance work. <laughs> Dude! Come I, on! <laughs> I do not have a very good work life, bro. Tonka, what do I do in I this situation where I have nothing to play for five turns in a row with this deck? Uh, that's every situation, bro. <laughs> this is... Just gotta evolve and hope for the best. That's just how it is. <laughs> I'm starting to think this might be bad. <laughs> Do you have any idea what to bring to Rage? Yeah, Control Forest and uh, Helio. Did I already answer that? My brain is on autopilot right now. The best stream is the one where Tonko and you said you're gonna fucking eel. <laughs> oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty good, yeah. We did say Helio that. Was there too. Yeah. That was basically an episode of Evolve Point. Yeah, pretty much, yeah. An episode of Evolve Point 2, one that you will be editing. No. <laughs> <laughs> Did I God, like, that just feels so menacing. <laughs> Almost got him. <laughs> How is Last Roads right now? It's worse than Helio. By a lot. Which is hilarious, because everyone was like, we should pre-nerf Last Words. And I was the one. You can check the tapes. I was the one in my card review saying, I don't think we should pre-nerf last words. And everyone was last like, words. yeah. 
Yeah, like, I felt like Last Words would still be pretty good, but I don't think it... At least at the time, I feel like it didn't deserve a pre-nerf anyway. It fell off so hard, too. Which is crazy, because it's a deck that can get, like, a 10 damage on turn 6, but... Turns out Helio can get 16 damage on turn 5, so... <laughs> Whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, it's okay, chat. I'll convince him to edit half of Evolve Point soon, <laughs> and <laughs> we'll bring it back. It's what chat wants, Tonko. Come on. No, he's it's not what gonna... the people want. He's not going for it, dude. <laughs> uh, I think I'm gonna overdraw by like a lot, actually. Help. Help. Do I fuse an Eden, Tonko? Uh, you have several, so that's fine, yeah. I mean, yeah, it's nice to keep Eden for, um, you know... It's nice to keep Eden for the potential, um, whatchamacall. Well, I'm trying to not die right now. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> It is nice to keep Eden for more damage after the shin reduction, but like... Well, you're not gonna survive that long anyway. <laughs> Let's face it. You have no faith in me. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that I don't have faith in you, I just don't have faith in evil portal, bro. No, yeah, that's fair enough. <laughs> that's fair enough, dude. <laughs> but I have Alice going face next turn, isn't that good? That's good! That's good! Oh, that's a big gun vein. It is really fun when you can do ant... <laughs> Uh, Antonita to uh, copy Alice and play like a billion Alice's. Because there are some games you can win without Shin, you just play Alice into Alice into Alice into Alice over and over again. Mm. But like... But like... Do you think Helio deserves a nerf? Probably, honestly. <laughs> that thing's fucked up! <laughs> yeah. You got 18 I damage, I guess I just haven't seen... I guess I just haven't seen enough Helio to have any strong feelings for it. Either that or I had some kind of like strange out for some he's, reason. He's, it's going to be really, really strong, I think. Uh, over the over the next week, it's going to prove itself to be really strong. Because the only counter is Lily or not playing a board. So you just have to not play the yeah. game. Uh, this is why I'm playing Control Forest, just saying. Mm. <laughs> uh, but even if you don't if you don't play your board, you can... um. You can kill your own guy with Night Terror still, which is tough. <laughs> if you don't go wide, they can't do their game plan easily. Yeah, that's true. true. Oh, Mikael, hi! I think that actually oh, does Mikael, help. Hi. I think that actually does help, doesn't it? Fuse Inez, right? She's kind of bad now. Wait, I can't go through because the guy's ward. That's so lame. <laughs> How do you play Helio Shadow? It's not easy, by the way. It's a pretty hard deck. I can't. Sp Should I just play the robotic and then wait to, for, to go off in turn eight? Because I'm really scared of just like fucking dying, honestly, <laughs> to like Joe or something. And I feel like I maybe need to heal. What do you think? How many healers are you at? Six. Uh, yeah, Alice into Robotic is actually fine. A brand new adventure awaits. I don't uh, like uh, it, but it's uh, fine, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Just heal with shit. No, next turn I go off. Don't worry. Right? Next turn I assembly droid Alice Shin Shin. Oh, they played Draz. It's annoying. Well, no, Draz can get traded by Shin, right? 
No, but then I can't play Alice alongside it, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, double Shin with the Sunday Joy is better in this case. Yeah. Oh wait, yes, yeah, no, that that's enough. Yeah, that that's gonna be enough. So I want to go. I want Alice to go face, but I don't think I can. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm only at eight. Oh no, I can. No, you're right. Alice, Shin, Assembly, yeah. Droid, Alice, go face. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's easy. Just that can do cool stuff sometimes. Why is this guy taking so long? Is he hex editing his hand right now? <laughs> He's trying it. <laughs> He's debating if he wants a pre evo. Because pre evo does screw up the double shin, that's why actually. He's stream sniping right now? You think so? Hello! 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 Please Mi go away. Hello, Mio Honda. Welcome to the stream. Hello. Make sure to. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> you should have gone for the head. So now what, dude? Do I just play Blooming? Is it a body? Uh... If I play Blooming, I, mean, I thought you were though, gonna you know? play a second Shin, but I guess I that's still fine. Because I had to. Yeah, no, I you have... can. How? No, you can. It count. That's two e. The double Shin is two Evos with the joy. That's three Evos. You're gonna be. You'll be a ten. Oh no, no, but like I thought I was playing Alice that turn. Oh well, no, that's I. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I, played... I don't think I don't know if you heard me, but like I was like, uh, yeah, instead of playing Alice, you could oh! do uh, the double Shin. I see what you mean. What's <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? It's fine. I mean, it's still fine either way. <laughs> you still get Shin active, so it's fine. And you have enough HP anyway. So if I didn't, if I played Shin instead of Alice, it would be only one damage more though, right? Yeah, and I would, I wouldn't have had to draw either. No. So it would be, they would be at eight defense, but I wouldn't have had, I would have had less hand, right? Uh, I actually didn't even see that you have an actual good hand already. So, I mean, yeah, that's fine. I think, I think it's fine. Either way, is fine. It's fine. I mean, even with a second Shin, is still like. So much damage anyway, so yeah. What yeah. could possibly go wrong? <laughs> Sorry, I, I was half paying attention because I actually got a legitimate dub with Control Force. Let's go! He's beginning to believe. I was, I was finally able to drag out the game against Golem Lord until like turn eleven. <laughs> How do you beat Golem Lord, dude? I cannot beat. Golem I don't know. Lord. It just. I think he just. I didn't. He just had a bad hand, I guess. Uh, it just kind of happened. That's good. That's good. Oh. And you do enough damage too with Shin that you just do burn down. You don't care about the wards anyway, so. So I win with Shin now, right? Yeah, all you, all you gotta do is just play Eden first to kill the Joe stats and then Shin and that's it. Well, I know because Joe plus five is. Oh, wait, no, it's not targetable. No, yeah, so you're right. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna do something cute, like, oh, I'm gonna play Inez, and Inez is gonna be zero attack. And then... <laughs> I mean, yeah, that works too, but yeah, it's unnecessary yeah. in this case. Yeah. Who is Mia? Yeah, she's the thumbnail because I don't know who she is. <laughs> she auto evolves and heals you. That's pretty cool. Oh, I used I used the OG Mia back in the day. Who? Who's the OG who? Mia? <laughs> I don't she know like who that is. I think she was like, wait, I know she was a steel rebellion. That was when they made a bunch of two jobs that do stuff when you uh, evo. Oh. 